Hey guys, back in the kitchen again today, and we're gonna show you some more uses for dough balls. You've seen us make lots of different pizzas. You've seen us make a New York style pizza, a deep dish, a Detroit style pizza. You've seen us make Neapolitan style pizza and flatbreads. Today we're doing something totally different. We're gonna make everything but pizza with a pizza dough ball, all right? So we're gonna start off, this dough ball is like three days old, so we don't want it sitting around and going to waste. It's not really that round anymore, so we're gonna just hit it with a rolling pin and we're gonna start off making something different besides pizza. The first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is we're gonna make a calzone. So we're gonna square off this side of the dough just a little bit, just kind of pull it square. So take your pizza cutter, we're gonna cut it right there. So here's the bottom of the calzone. I don't put sauce inside my calzones. That's just not my style. If you want to, you can. Start with a little cheese base. Put that all down. Keep everything away from your edge. See how I got about a thumb width edge all the way around? That's gonna keep it so your dough can stick back together. We're just gonna make a combination pepperoni and sausage calzone here. All right, put a little more cheese on top because who doesn't like more cheese in their calzone? And the trick to the calzone is the water. Sounds weird. All we're gonna do is brush the edge with water with our fingers. You don't want them soaking wet. You just want them a little damp. You want the dough to soak in a little bit of that water so you can wrap the edge. And what that does is rehydrates the dough and makes it sticky again. So then all you do is you take your piece of dough, fold it over. You wanna line up the edges right there, just like that. We're just gonna use this fork and we're gonna crimp our calzone. So we're gonna do that kind of like a pot pie edge. And there you have a super easy and tasty calzone, and it used up your spent dough, your little bit older dough, or you're just adding it to your menu, lunch specials, stuff like that, very, very easy. So we're gonna use this fancy pastry cutter here. You don't have to have one of these, this makes life a little easier. And we're gonna set it, and we're gonna make a couple different things, all using the same shape. Line it up, cut through all at once, line your cutter back up, and go one more time. First thing I'm gonna show you is breadsticks. You can use a breadstick like this. You can have them thinner and thicker if you want to, thinner this way and taller. Um, I normally like to do these, and all I do is take a little garlic butter and brush them all the way down. Put a little Parmesan cheese on it here. And then what I do is I twist them. So when somebody sees it, it doesn't look like just a, a breadstick. It looks a little fancier. So you can lay it out like that. It's gonna get nice and round and it'll fluff up just like your pizza would. You can just simply have all of your bread items come from dough balls. You don't have to have bread. You don't have to buy bread. You could use dough balls to make loaves of bread. You could make it your table bread. And you would put these right on a pan. That gives you some nice breadstick options. From there, we're gonna go to garlic knots. These are one of my favorites. Super easy, super tasty. We're gonna take these long strips. We're gonna cut them in half. They don't need to be that big. You kind of want them to be poppable. You want like a bite or two, maybe three at the biggest. So all you do is do one overhand knot and you want it to be kind of a loose knot. You want to have room for that dough to proof up. You should have a little hole through there, all right? So you do that and you're going to set them out on your tray. I like Parmesan cheese on just about anything with garlic butter and those would be ready for the oven. You put them right on a bakery tray, set them in, they come out, they're perfect, they're nice and fluffy, serve them with marinara, ranch sauce, garlic butter, you name it, you can serve it with them. Last but not least, for these strips of dough, you gotta have something sweet once in a while, right? So you don't always wanna have garlic butter and Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna make cinnamon rolls. Just take a little bit of butter here, melted butter, and run it down the length of this strip. Smooth it on there. Then I got some cinnamon, brown sugar, a pinch of salt here. This is gonna be really nice to put inside of this cinnamon roll. We're just gonna work it all the way down. So all we're gonna do is roll these up nice and tight. You get a nice, beautiful little cinnamon roll. Take that, that goes in your buttered pan. You bake those off, you put a little icing on them when they come out, just like grandma used to make. Let me show you something else to make with a pre-made crust that's not technically a pizza. We're gonna go to pizza fries. Lots of you have probably heard of pizza fries, but here we're just gonna use a par-baked, real nice fluffy crust. And we're gonna take a bunch of garlic butter here we're gonna spread that all over the crust. Having an edge doesn't really matter anymore. And all we do for this is you can use your same pizza cheese blend. And all you do is smother this with cheese. And then I'm not putting any herbs on here. I like it without the herbs, but I know a lot of people like basil and oregano on their pizza fries. So the reason they call these pizza fries is when they're served, 
you cut them into really thin, narrow strips. And that's what gives it its fry shape. Something really, really simple. So don't forget that just because your dough ball is labeled as a pizza dough ball, that doesn't mean that you can't do anything else. It really is your workhorse. It really can do everything else any other dough can. Not only can you make pizza, you can make a calzone or a stromboli, you can make breadsticks, you can make garlic knots, cinnamon rolls, pizza fries, you name it, and the dough can